There is something that he has done and he has legitimately lost, and that is your freedom as an individual human being to be free, to do your own thinking, to be your own person. That is lost. You have been taken over and you don't even know it. And he said that the reason why... behind the scenes of government in this country, their greatest enemy is you. both sides. We now know, of course, through the work of many historians who have spent their life working on research that show us that both sides of world conflicts have always been financed by the same people. systems in the world and yes they are in fact connected it's all about how all of the Nazi things that did in Germany were repeating hi and welcome to the echo on TV as I promised you all the echo on the radio um, is going to be in form of a visual show from um, this week actually as you know, my show on the radio is every Friday uh, between 1 to 2 p.m. And like I said, I uh, tried very hard to make that radio show in form of a visual show. And today uh, I have some guests with me. Um, let's start it uh, from Jennifer, who's the newest uh, uh, member of uh, Truth uh, Seekers on uh, TV. How are you doing, Jennifer? I'm doing all right, how are you? Okay, I'm fine, thank you, thank you. And um, then, uh, as you know, um, 
Standish is the expert on the lots of things, uh, including 9-11 investigation. But he has a very, very good information on Zionism and uh, how Zionist uh, movement actually work. That's why I really ask him to be on this show. I, I really thank you so much for being on the show. And uh, on my right is Michael. How are you doing, Michael? Good, good. Good, <laughs> good, good to have good, you on yeah, the show. Yeah. He's a truther, 9-11 truther. And uh, as you know, everything is uh, very related. We are, you know, basically 9-11 is interconnected with other um, truth that has been taken away from you. The truth that they don't want you to know, basically. So, uh, in this show, The Echo, as you know, we cover lots of things. Um, you name it from um, pharmaceutical conspiracy against uh, American citizens up to 9-11. It could be about our education and dumbing down the society. It could be anything. Uh, so please feel free, uh, you know, to contact us. And uh, we will put the number very soon for you. Right now, this is not a live show, but we will have the live show very soon uh, after a couple of other shows. Um, the first news that uh, we want to cover that um, mainstream media doesn't want you to know is about the possible um, Israeli slash American attack against Iran. And your uh, nationality is? Well, I, yeah, I'm, I'm an American citizen, but I was definitely born in Iran, and I'm, I'm an Iranian American. Um, and uh, as you know, before 1979, Iran was the best ally that America actually had in the in that region, meaning the Middle East. But now, um, uh, because of uh, some interest groups uh, conspiracy um, in Europe, and also some in America, uh, Iran has a very, very different uh, regime, which is actually against uh, what America stands for. And when I say what America stands for, I'm not talking about the U.S. government. I'm talking about America as whole. As a people. As, as, as a people, yes, exactly. And, and you're not, what are, are you saying that Iran is really against the American people as a whole? No, no, okay. again. That's, that's how I was taking it. No, oh. no, again, again. Uh, what you hear in the news, they this keep is what saying, you hear in the news, yes, right? Exactly. They hate us for our freedoms. Yes, and, yes. And they're I mean, developing nukes. Yes, that's according to the media, but according to the people who are supposed to look yes, into this, the yes. uh, International Atomic Energy Commission. Yes. That sounds awfully familiar to another country in that, that region. That began with I. R A Q, oh. not an N at the end. Hey, Iraq. Q. Yeah, it's me, but it's a different Q. <clears throat> Sounds very familiar, and believe it or not, I don't have that clip right now, but I get it maybe some other time when we talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> well, Q, I would request for myself and for your viewers that you cover your intro really quick. Sure. Because your intro was awesome. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it was a really, lot of time really to put neat. together. Yeah. Yes. So, predominantly in most of the scenes, you saw a triangle. Yes. At the top of a pyramid at the end. Yes. But for those people that are not familiar with that, you might want to. It had an eye in it. Educate them. Well, it's a long story, but like, it goes back to Samaria. And as you know, Sumeria means uh, a land that has been watched. And that seeing eyes, all seeing eyes, which goes, uh, travels actually to Egypt and Egyptian culture. And you know, it goes uh, to Illuminati and also- Where is this story from? <clears throat> it starts from Sumer. Sumer